Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and um, today we have another haul video but this one is not a thrift store haul. This was actually while I was working at the Pink Elephant. We had several people come in that wanted to sell stuff. So this is some of the stuff that I bought from people who brought things in which is exciting. It's a great way to find some stuff too. Um, and uh, this is actually from two separate people. The items I'm going to show you and most of it's books which is kind of unusual, but they were just some awesome books. One of the first ones we got, oh, first off, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I do a lot of thrift hauls. Um, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, and um, I have a booth at the antique store, which is called the Pink Elephant, and that's where these things come from. So we look for things to resell. It's pretty exciting. So this is one of the books. It's called Bobby Bun and Bunty. Um, this is a it's an English book, actually, um, and it's just got the cutest illustrations in it. And they're little. Each page has a different story. Um, and then uh, it's not in very good shape, but I bought it just for the illustrations. The book is the bindings broken, the pages are loose, the pages are water stained, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, and it's not a high value book, but that was a fun little, uh, book to get. And then from the, I'm trying to, I have to remember what estate I got these from. Um, that was actually the same one as, oh yes, these. So then, uh, some of you know, I love music books. And so I picked them up, especially the older ones. I picked up this one. This one is called the The Sovereign, um, and it's from 1879. So this is a good old book, um, and it's got, you know, a lot of different songs in it, but also practical lessons on how to sing and that type of thing. So, um, so yeah, so that was a great book. Again, I can't find very many of those online anywhere so um and then let's see these two came from the other guy okay, those all came from the other household um then i found another song book i love the title of this one small songs for small singers um and don't you just love the graphics on that and this one is from i believe 1907 um, oh, actually, copyright eight, nine, copyright 1896 um, by Shermer. And uh, again, just a lot of children's songs from the time. But again, with great illustrations. They really did a great job with uh, <laughs> publishing books back in these days. Before we had all this other crazy entertainment that we got going on. That's cool. Um, and all of these are, you know, from my research, you know, are the exception of that Bobby Bunn book, um, you know, are fifteen twenty dollar book. So, which I didn't know at the time. Um, and then there was this one. It's called The Raggedy Man. Again, just a great um, illustration. This is the one that I believe is nineteen oh seven. Indianapolis by the Bob Merrills. Yep. 1907 and again the bindings are a little loose on on these but the uh, illustrations are just awesome in these books I mean these are the kind that you cut out of the book frame and hang on the wall so the raggedy man he needs a little help and there are a couple of those for sale this one was pretty awesome it's called the house that glue made glue g-l-u-e um and what it is is and these pages are all pretty loose um so there's this the title not the title page but a descriptive page and it has a little illustration at the bottom and then this page would have been blank of any of the furniture rugs wall hangings and then it's like a paper doll thing where you cut them out or punch them out and then 
they were glued onto the page. In the spaces that are illustrated on this one. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's little red lines to show you where to put what piece. And so then the whole storybook is like that. So there's these two pages. And then when you flip the page, you got the library, which is then this page. And you see how it just flips from one to the other. So, and somebody did put all of the um, pages together. Um, some of them do have some condition issues in that it's like the kitchen, it's somebody tore something out of the middle, whatever was sitting on the table. Um, so it's not the best. And again, they're all loose in the binding, um, but there are a couple of these listed on eBay, anywhere from 15 to $150. So to me, this is a, it's a great book, but it's more like a $20 book. Uh, and this one, copyright date, I don't even know what the copyright date on this was. Let me see if I can see it on here. Because there's no cover page. Uh, 1905 is what it, is the copyright date on that. So 115 years old. But then the surprising find was, I, I love the il cover illustration on this book. And it's called Nursery Tiles. At first I thought it said Nursery Tales, but it actually says Tiles. T-I-L-E-S. Um, but that is just the coolest graphics on there. And it's got the kitties on the back, which is cool too. And it's got a little bit of water damage on the back. But the uh, there's the inside pages. And it's called Nursery Tiles, the Boys and Girls Painting Book. Now there's a little inscription up here from December 25th, 1889. So somebody got this as a Christmas present back in 1889. And somebody else put their initials at the bottom, 1929. Um, so yeah, so I just thought that was a lovely story. And the guy who brought it in said he has, these are all family items, but he had no idea um, who Auntie was. So, but this book was published in 1880. That's the copyright date in the front of the book. Um, but basically what you do is you paint on these pages. So it tells you a story and you like here, January, and then you can paint the story from what I understand. And there's one for every month. Now this one, nobody did anything in it as far as painting. Um, but there was one of these that just sold on eBay for $150. That was a surprising find, which I thought was really cool. Um, so, yeah, and actually that came from, the first books were from one household. That one ha happened to come from another household, um, which this other stuff all came from that too. So they're all family estate items, both people that came in and brought stuff. This is one of my favorite items though. That This is a little photo album full of postcards. And these are all from um, what's called the Hemp Museum, H-E-M-P, in Rochester, Minnesota. It used to be an auto museum that was located in Rochester. Um, and each one's, you know, labeled and described what it is there that's being displayed on the card. I'll pull one out so you can see what I'm talking about. So like, there's the card and it'll say what model car, where it's from. And you can see it's just a photo postcard on the back. Now these are not, um, you know, from the early turn of the century. These are much later postcards, probably from the fifties, I would say. Um, but it was just a great, amazing find. This little page isn't cooperating here. Um, so yeah, so, and this I bought for myself because I love these kind of things. As some of you know, I'm, I love old cars. So one of the other things I found was this um, 
the youth's companion is like a newspaper for younger people. It's dated 1899, the Perry Mason and Company. Didn't know Perry Mason, the lawyer, was alive in 1899. <laughs> um, yeah, and so they're just stories. But what I also love about these is all the vintage advertising that's on these. Um, because you can see what kind of products, like there's a great sewing machine ad for the new companion sewing machine. Or things like syrup of wigs, of figs, syrup of figs, sorry, not wigs, figs. Uh, acts gently on the kidneys, liver, and bowels. Cleanses the system effectively. There you go. Um, wool soap for toilet and bath. There's bicycles, Larkin soaps. Just all sorts of great advert. Libby's luncheons. Ooh. Veal, ox tongue, potted ham, beef, and tongue. Libby's home bakes pork and beans. There you go. Lots of fun stuff in these advertisements. <laughs> so that's part of the reason I like to buy these because you find all sorts of unusual ads. Um, and then I picked up a couple pieces of sheet music. This one, again, these are just from my personal collection. Going My Way by Bing Crosby. That's actually based on a movie. Um, and then there's Hazel Scott. She was a um, kind of a ragtime pianist and hey boogie woogie she was famous for back in the day and so this is a booklet of several of her songs that she wrote and written these are arranged by her specifically so they are her arrangements <laughs> um so that'll be fun and then i picked up this print this is actually a print based on some on an english book it's called ladybird bedtime tales this is the military band boy um so still wrapped in plastic it's kind of cool and then the last thing i have is this copper metalwork piece uh this lady in this beautiful dress it's very well done um in this nice vintage frame and copper work you know these are selling for 20 25 dollars i paid well all total i paid 10 20 paid 20 dollars for everything that I've shown you here. Now, I did pay more. Uh, there were a couple lamps that we bought um, that are down at the Pink Elephant. We just left them there and priced them and put them out right away. Um, so, yeah. But that's what we have. And they're beautiful lamps. So, I'll have to see if I can get some pictures and show you guys at some point. Um, but that's what we have in this hall. It was a fun day. And, and the person I was working with, Dale, one of the first things she said when we opened up, she was like, I hope we have people bring in stuff for to buy. And sure enough, we had a number of people come in with some great stuff today. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you next time.